Oh, the wait is finally over. Oh, oh. So, you guys know I'm a huge fan of the first Iron Sky. Oh, loved it absolutely to death. Actually, I had a chance to do some trailer reactions to Iron Sky 2, the coming race, and I was very, very excited. Well, I finally got my hands on it. So, let's dive in. Alright, gotta start everything off as always by letting you know this is going to be a spoiler filled review so if you haven't seen it yet and you want to be surprised, go check it out. Alright, you're here. So to make sure we're on the same page, this picks up about 20 years after the last movie. Um, the humans have fled to the Nazi base on the dark side of the moon, which is basically falling apart. Um, ship full of refugees shows up including a mystery passenger, ooh, Udo Kier, my man, <laughs> and hilarity ensues. All right, we start off with likes, and there is a lot to love. Oh, so where do we begin? First and foremost, most important when it comes to Iron Sky movies, this is fun. And I mean, capital F, capital U, capital N. Oh, such a great time. I mean, so creative, so outlandish, and, and so much fun. I mean, you know, it's, it's a rare treat, uh, really, you know, to, to have something that just goes balls to the walls, doesn't care about, you know, anything regarding, you know, tropes and, 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 and studio interference and, and, you know, calculated, you know, openings. It, fuck all that, man. They just went nuts, and I appreciate them for that. Specifically, the creativity from the standpoint of it wasn't the same old, same old. God, you know I'm sick and death. Sick and death? No, I'm sick to death. Uh, of all these remakes and sequels and, and ugh, you know. Yes, okay, fine, this is a sequel. Who cares? Uh, it stands alone. Uh, you know, you don't have to have a lot of references to the first one. There's some. Um, but it's, it's just amazingly creative and inventive and ridiculous and it doesn't care about being ridiculous and that's the best part it just says hey yes this is ridiculous but these characters are going to take it seriously which is a smart smart move i mean dear god adolf a lizard adolf hitler riding riding a tyrannosaurus rex into battle it doesn't get any better than that it really doesn't uh you know and 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 much like the first there's a lot of clever social commentary without beating you over the head about it you know um, it just kind of, it is what it is, and, and then we go from there, and, uh, you know, boy, talk about just a wonderful, you know, some of the best things, honestly, is is you take a real-life scenario that sort of teeters on the absurd, and you blow it up, okay? So, they took this idiotic obsession that some people have with Apple products and Steve Jobs. And they blow it up into this typical hypocritical religion um, that, you know, abscond or, or hates, you know, open source. And it's, it's brilliant. It's absolutely brilliant. Uh, the last thing that I love, and I cannot omit this, dear God, the special effects in this movie. Um, this is not a hundred million dollar Hollywood picture but it sure as hell looks like one. Absolutely flawless, uh, very high tech, very complicated. You know, there's a sequence where, uh, you know, the, the lead woman from the first film, you know, drop kick, or, you know, basically kicks in the face of Tyrannosaurus Rex, who flips back with Udo Kier Lizard, Hitler riding him, who gets sent into a pipe, who then falls on him. I mean, all of that, very complicated from a 3D rendering perspective, and yet perfectly done. So yeah, I, I, I could go on and on and on, but this is just a, a incredibly well done, inventive, creative, fun romp. All right, it is dislikes time, and um, you know, there was a couple. Um, the primary one actually was um, that the, the lead actress, uh, you know, her quote-unquote love interest eventually in the movie is this, the Russian guy, they had absolutely no chemistry. Um, in fact, <laughs> I kind of boil it down to her. I don't think she was the best choice for the lead. It's not that her acting was bad or anything like that, but she just didn't really have any chemistry with any of the characters, to be honest. Um, I, 
no idea why. I mean, just, you know, you have it or you don't. I mean, that's, that's kind of the bottom line. Um, but, you know, by the same token, it's the director or the casting director's job to, you know, before a single frame is shot, be like, oh, yeah, this, these, these two are not clicking. We need, to, we need to mix it up. Different girl, different guy, whatever it was. Uh, so I was a little bit, you know, disappointed in that. Um, it wasn't as clever as the first one. Um, still clever, just not as clever. It's not really a, a big deal. Um, I guess maybe Iron Sky 1 set the bar so high, you know, that they, they really weren't gonna, gonna step up to that. But um, by the same token, I think that maybe they, they kind of said, we have some big effects and big cool stuff ideas that we want to get in here. You know, a Triceratops, Chariot, uh, Chase, um, you know, blah, 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 blah. So we're going to kind of forego some of the more, you know, clever stuff that... I guess in one, they would sort of set things up early and then maybe hit them in the middle and pay off at the end. This was just kind of pay off, pay off, pay off. Again, not the, not the worst, but man, I, that was one of the things I really liked about the first one, uh, above and beyond anything else. So not tremendous, but eh, some little growth. Mainly that lead, man. Oof. I would have picked a different one. Right, it is pinhead time, and uh, yeah, this was just, I mean, wow. You want to have fun? You watch Iron Sky, The Coming Race. End of story, couple gripes, no big deal. Nonetheless, for me, boom. It's gonna be a four pinhead movie. All right, what did you guys think? Please let me know in the comment section below. Extol upon your love of Lizard Hitler, riding a Tyrannosaurus Rex into battle. The amazing Last Supper diorama with various <laughs> horrible members in human history, including Mark Zuckerberg, which was spot on. Like I said, this was just so clever, so amazing. What more be said?